Scorpio, and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. Today's reading is going to be a love reading for February. So in light of it, February being the month of love, I thought just fitting to do a love reading. So this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, we are going to start with your energy cards. So let's find out what the energy for Scorpio is surrounding love in February. So what would you like to share with us, spirit angels and guides? What are the energies? Energies for Scorpio, please. What are the energies for Scorpio? All right. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. You've got lots of energies. My water signs are having lots of energies happening. So the first card to come up here for energy is number eight, community. So community is all about a group of people. It's like the joining, you know, joining different um, community groups that where you feel you're very involved and where you're feeling, you know, really needed. And, you know, maybe it's a community of people, um, whether they're inside of your circle or outside your circle, the meeting of new and uh, people and bringing those people together. So there's definitely something to do with community. And then you got number six, not for you. So there is something that is transpiring in February that spirit's saying, you know, maybe you need to reevaluate something. Maybe something just isn't for you. And then you also got number five, orphaned. Now, what might not be for you is this feeling of only loneliness and isolation. Now, number five is about changes. So we need to figure out how to change that feeling that you may be feeling, that you're feeling a little bit lonely, you're feeling a little bit left out. Maybe there is a community of group that, you know, has, has made you feel a little left out. And, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's not for you anymore. Maybe you need to change things up. But you also got number seven, which is to the sea. And the two the sea is, for me, it's really a very calming card. It's really a card about really doing some reflection. It's about going off into peaceful waters and really starting to redirect your thoughts, redirect your emotions. With the binoculars and the arrow, you know, you're trying to see things from different perspectives. You're trying to really get a deeper meaning of maybe what it is that you require as well so that you can no longer feel this orphaned energy. You know, that, that energy is not for you. That's not what you're about, Scorpio. You don't have to be in that energy, but you need to figure out which arrow, which direction you need to go to break yourself free of that. Because when you're able to do that, to be able, be able to reconnect with yourself, reconnect with spirit, to find out your path, it's leading you to the number 51, which is milk and honey. Milk and honey is about abundance. So it's about that rainbow of abundance. Spirit is looking down at you and, it, and, and, there's, and they're giving you, they're giving you this, this okay to say, you know what? It's time to move on from feeling lonely. It's, it's okay. It's, it's not, that, that energy is not for you. Maybe you need to get yourself out there with some sort of community because if you are alone right now and you're not in a relationship, there might be somebody waiting in that community for you. But there is definitely milk and honey. Again, abundance. It's showing that emotional abundance. So now let's get right into the uh, let's get right into the the tarot cards and find out. You know what is your role? Like what is your role right now? How are you feeling right now with yourself and in a relationship? So let's find out. So spirit, angels, and guides. We're going to talk about you. This is all about you. What would you like to share with us for Scorpio? What card reflects them? Okay, so you got the King of Wands. Again, there's no gender to any of these cards. I just read them for the way that they are. So King of Wands is a very passionate, determined person. They, uh, as you can see the lion here, they are very much about integrity. They're very much strong. And again, that determination, uh, they will... Um, be ignited by passion. They're very passionate people. <clears throat> They're very good looking people. So, hey, hats off, Scorpio. You're nice looking people. And you know what? You're very, very motivated and, you know, empowered to take some leaps of faith and some to, to take some action to move forward. You're in that moment of your life where you really want 
you know, you really want to break free from energies that are no longer um, holding you back. You don't want to be in those energies. You're ready to really do some deep diving, some deep thinking so that you can get to that abundance. So let's find out about partner. So whether you have a partner in your life or whether there's somebody, you know, um, somebody upcoming in your life, let's find out what their energies are. And their energy is coming up as Page of Swords. So swords are, are all to do with the mind. So they are air signs. So they can represent, you know, Aquarius, um, Libra or Gemini. Um, a page, of course, is going to be younger. So whether, you're, whether this person is younger in age or just younger at heart, they really bring a lot of truth and clarity. They bring um, this sort of message of, you know, they're bringing something new into your life. Something where you're able to really, you know, think a little bit. You're going to think a little differently. I think they're bringing you a message to start seeing things from a different point of view. Really, um, you know, really thinking on a completely different level. That's what I'm getting from this. It's very new energy. And if it's somebody that you've been in a relationship for a while, they could also too be going through this sort of, you know, deep thinking where, you know, they want to bring some newness. There is a message coming here from somebody and it's bringing you information that's really going to give you food for thought. I really think that it's going to be messages about something to really give a lot of thought to. So let's find out now what the current situation is for Scorpio. Let's find out because you are passionate. You are, you are ignited. You are ready to move forward. Let's see. Current situation for love for February, please. Okay, I'm going to take the one that fell out there. Wow, and you got Knight of Wands. Lots of action cards, Scorpio. You no longer are going to sit and, you know, wallow in any sense of sadness. You are really breaking free from those emotional, emotional strains. You are the Knight of Wands. You are ready to move forward. You are getting on your horse. You're charging forward. And you, again, are full of passion. You, you really, when you want something, you're ready to go after it. You're not sitting back anymore and just, eh, you know, if it happens, it happens. That energy is not for you. Your energy now is about breaking free from the sadness, breaking free from the loneliness, and bringing action into your life. There is some sort of, there is some sort of, this could even be something to do, this is a movement card. Uh, knights are all about movement and wands are about fast movement. And I really think that you are moving towards something quickly. And I think that it is um, something that's really going to ignite a new, um, something new inside of you, which is, is really important. So February is that start of movement forward being determined and, and having the strength to do it. So let's find out what the message from spirit is for you, Scorpio. What is the message from spirit? Okay. Five of cups. Five of cups is that orphaned. So I'm going to get another one to go with that because the spirit is saying, you know, this loneliness or this sadness that you've been feeling, this emptiness, there's some sort of emptiness. And, you know, you're focusing, as you can see with this card, you're focusing on the three cups that have turned over, but behind you, what you don't see are these two cups that are full. So it's, it's spirit saying, you know, we've got to break you out of this energy. Let's get one more. Can we clarify the five of cups, please, for Scorpio? Yes, beautiful. So you got the number seven chariot. So what Spirit's saying is, you know, you have a lot of intuition, Scorpio, and you know that you can use that intuition and you know that you can trust that intuition. The chariot is, again, movement forward, very much like that Knight of Wands. You are ready to charge forward. You're ready to make a decision in the direction that you want your love life to go. You no longer, Spirit doesn't want you to be wallowing in this sadness anymore because you can break yourself free from it. You need to get up on your chariot and you need to guide the chariot in the direction that's going to bring you to that milk and honey, to that rainbow, to that sense of fulfillment where you feel loved and you feel valued. That is where we need that chariot to lead you to. So Spirit's saying you have the capability of doing that. Use your intuition. So what is the outcome? What would be the outcome here? And the outcome, seven of cups. 
So with the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups is about lots of different options. It's almost a little bit of a dreamy card. Um, sometimes it can be a little confusion because there's so many cups, there's so many different directions that I can go, so many opportunities, but which one do I choose? I don't know which one to choose. So what the outcome right now is that I think you are gonna be dealt with a lot of different options. Um, and I think that, you know, a lot of them can fill those needs for you, but it's really filtering through each one of those cups individually to find out which one fits best for you, which one is suited best for you. So I am going to actually get another card for that. So let's clarify the seven of cups because this is the outcome. The outcome is a little bit like so many options. It's like having to make a decision, not exactly sure what decision to make. But moving forward, the, the fact of the matter is, even though you might not know exactly what decision to make, the fact is, is you're moving forward. And that's the most important thing, Scorpio. We don't ever want to be going backwards. We must always be looking forward. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful card. So I'm glad I, I clarified that. You got the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is your milk and honey. This is really, you know, feeling at a, a place in your life where you know that you have worked very hard to, to, to feel this sense of abundance. And this abundance is this sense of, you know, really feeling a sense of stability, really feeling that sense of feeling very grounded. And, you know, it is, pentacles are all earthbound signs. So they're very, very about the physical. I think that you, um, you know, your outcome here is you're going to have a lot of options here with the seven of cups. And, you know, those options are leading you towards your milk and honey. You are just fortunate enough to have a lot of them right now. And it is going to bring you that sense of stability. You are going to feel, um, you are going to feel something like so incredible, like to be able to feel that sense of security and that sense of wholeness and knowing that you have, it's taken you a long time to get here. You know, you've done a lot of exploring of your own emotions and you know, you're a very deep person, you know, you're very intense. So, you know, you methodically think out everything and you're so spiritually guided that, you know, you show a lot of gratitude. You're, you're very, very grateful and thankful for this milk and honey, but you know that it's taken you a while to get there. So you appreciate every aspect of it. I really truly do believe that you are going to start moving out of this isolation and loneliness because that's not for you. I really feel that by being in some sort of community group, you're going to meet like-minded people and you are going to reach that sense of abundance with the milk and the honey and the 10 of pentacles. And you're going to have lots of options. Don't close yourself off. Keep those options always open because you're ready to step out on your chariot and you're ready to move forward. You're ready to travel forward. Beautiful energy. So let's see, uh, Scorpio, what you need to let go of. Everybody needs to let go of something or surrender to something at some point in our life. So let's find out what it is for February, what you need to surrender to. So beautiful Scorpio, surrender to the magic of who you are. So we all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. Wow, look at how beautiful that card is. Just being you. You are magic. You're very mysterious. You, uh, you add a sense of... Um, of excitement to uh to a relationship too because you know you are uh, you're very a mysterious person i i love that about you you're very deep your thinking is very deep you love on a deeper level and you need to find somebody that can share that deeper level with you and i think that you're on the road to doing that by discovering how to heal and release these feelings of isolation so let's find out another angel message, please. So spirit angels and guides, can I have one more angel message for our beautiful Scorpio? And we were just talking about healing and you got heal. So you need to revitalize your heart. So there is some healing that needs to be done. You need to really believe in yourself because you, you know what, you have so much to give and you should never ever uh, for any moment, um, you know, 
realize that 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 you're not worth that you are worth so much and you know just being you you don't have to be somebody else just be you because you are magical you need to do a little bit of healing so that we don't have this orphaned energy or this five of cups energy anymore spirit is strongly saying it through advice and through energies and again through some more you know messages we really want to help you heal whatever it is is that's holding you back from really bringing you all that abundance that you so deserve. So now that we have that, we're just going to get, uh, I'm just going to get one more, one more fun message. This is just a little love fun message. There we go. You got, you got two, so I'm going to read them both. So you need to release, okay? There's something that needs to be released. When we release, we are able to heal. So sometimes the best way to grow is to simply let go. So you need to let go. Things that are not for you, you need to let go. Release them. And the second one was energy. Now, I already said in the beginning with you having King of Wands and Knight of Wands, there is a lot of energy in this reading, a lot of energy in you. So stop trying to please everyone. Everyone is a whole lot of people. Protect your energy. See, so protect your energy. And the seven of cups is, you know, it's, it's being over overloaded with options, you know, and sometimes that, um, can, can be overwhelming. So, you know, make sure that you use your energy and you put that energy to good use, prioritize the things that you want to put your energy into. Don't keep, you know, doing it to please someone else. Make sure that you're doing it for yourself first. Beautiful energy. Now we're going to close the reading with a, a little bit of a, a love message. It's just a little bit of a, an inspiration. I'm going to read the one that actually flew up here. So I'm going to read this one here. It says, all is possible when your heartfelt vision is in alignment with your values. Believe your dream, love it, breathe it, and let it fill your thoughts. But you must take action also. Work towards it a little each day until it becomes your primary action. Dreams are first envisioned, but then they must be built. You will succeed if you work at it. Absolutely. Beautiful message to end your reading. I hope you all enjoyed this, this, this reading. If you did, please leave comments. I do love to read them. I hope parts of it did resonate with you. I hope you have a beautiful and loving February. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Uh, again, I do appreciate the support. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.